Okay, so we've got a question here. We want to solve this quadratic congruence. x squared minus 4x plus 3 is congruent with 0 modulo 35. Now everything is all good until we have a look at this modulo 35. So we just can't plug in the solution to this modulo 35 because this is not a prime number. We're going to have to do something different. So I'm going to show you how we go about that. So first thing we see is that 35 is the same as 5 times 7. That's its prime factors. So now what we've got to do is, is try and solve this initially, although it won't give us the final answer. Um, x squared minus 4x plus 3 is congruent to 0, modulus 5 and modulus 7. So I'm going to do that here now, underneath, that's the next stage. So first of all, x squared minus 4x plus 3, we can see that that can be factored. So we get x minus 3, x minus 1 is congruent to 0. I must do modified first. So therefore we get x equals, or x is congruent to 3, and then that's the first solution. But then the infinite solutions will be 3 plus 5k. And then with this x minus 1, we also know that x is congruent to 1 plus 5k. Now, as it happens, the solutions from the um, factorization are all below 5 and 7. So we'll have a very similar solution here for mod 7 as well. So I'm just going to write here for the mod 7 to be the same, really. So just leave it like that, if you don't mind. We can also get that x is congruent to 3 plus 7k and x is also congruent to 1 plus 7k. Okay, so that's our initial initial calculations. So that's stage one, shall we call it. Okay, so now what we need to do is to combine the first one here. So we call this equation A, we call this equation B, this one equation C, and this one equation D. So we need to get A combined with C and A combined with D, B combined with C and B combined with D. So we try and solve them uh, like the Chinese remainder theorem uh, per each one. So that should give us four solutions. Now some of these solutions might be the same, in which case we might get two or one or three as well. But let's go through it and we'll see what happens. So what we say is, let's do A and C first. So A and C first. So what we say here is that x is congruent to 3 plus 5k. And then what we do with this one is, we say, because we're going with C, we take this part for the, what x is uh, equivalent to, but then we take the second part, so it's congruent with 3 mod 7 from the C. So it's congruent with 3 mod 7. So now we're just dealing with this bit and this bit. So now what we're looking for is to try and solve for k mod 7. So we can subtract 3 on each side, each side. So then we get 5k is congruent to 3 minus 3, which is 0, mod 7. So therefore k can be 0 or 5, or sorry, 0 or 7. So we're just plugging k equals k equals 0. OK, so now we've got k equals 0. The next stage is, is we plug in this k back into here and see uh, what we can get when we're with modulus of 7. So x is congruent to 3 plus now is we've got 5k, so we've got 5 times. Now here we've got our k is 0. And because it's modulus 7, we add 7 times any variable. So in this case, we're going to call it, just call it m. So x is congruent with 3 plus 5 times 0 plus 7m. OK, so now just work this out. x is congruent to 3 plus 5 times 0 is 0, 
and 5 times 7 is 35, so that's plus 35m. So therefore our first solution will give us x is 3. So that's the bit we're interested in on that one. So that's our A and C. So now you can see the pattern. So follow the next one and then you'll see how the pattern works again. Starting off again, x is congruent with 3 plus 5k. So let's put this down as A and D. X is congruent to 3 plus 5k. This time we take this as what it's congruent to, 1 plus 7k. So it's congruent to 1 modulus 7. Okay, so again, we need to try and solve for k. So we can take the 3 on the other side, so that'll give us minus 2. Minus 2 modulo 7 will give us uh, positive 5. So now we get 5k is congruent to 5 mod 7. So now we need to try and solve for k. So just working these out in our head, 5k, well k's got to be 1. So k is congruent, so k equals 1, sorry, we just write k equals 1. And then plus 7 times m, just like we did in this one. So now going back to this first bit, we've got x is congruent to 3 plus 5 times k. Well k is 1 plus 7m. So now x is congruent to 3 plus 5 times 1, so x is congruent to 8 plus 35m. And that's the bit there that we're interested in. This will give us our infinite solutions. So now we've got an 8 and we've got a 3. So now let's work out starting with the b. So the equation b, let's just box this in here. So equation B, and that's going with equation C. So let's write B and C. Okay, so X is going to be 1 plus 5K. And then that is congruent with 3 mod 7. Okay, let's just try and get the K on its own now. So now we've got 5k is congruent to subtract 1 on each side, so that's 2 mod 7. Okay, so now we need a value for k. So let's just plug that in. 5 1 to 5, 5 is not congruent with 2 mod 7. 2, that's 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 30 is congruent with 2 mod 7. So 5, 6 is the 30. So therefore we can have k equals 6. Okay, so now we go back to the original equation. So now x is congruent with 1 plus 5 times k. Now here k, we need, need to down do, do this modulo 7. So this is going to be plus 7m. So 5 times 6 plus 7m. So just working these out, 1 plus 5 times 6, 5, 6 is a 30, so therefore x is congruent to 31 plus 35m. So that's the bit there that we're interested in. So we've done b and c, now we just need to do b and d. So let's write this down here, b and d. So again, x equal, is congruent with 1 plus 5k, let's just write that down. And that is also congruent with this part of d, which is congruent with 1, and the modulus is 7. OK, now let's solve for k. Subtract 1 on both sides, that leaves us 5k is congruent with 0, mod 7. So therefore k can be 0 or 7 or, yeah, that would be good. So we just put k equals 0. Now we put the 0 
back into the 1 plus 5k that we started off with. So now x is congruent to 1 plus 5 times k. Now k equals 0, modulus 7, so that's plus 7m. Sticking with our usual m's for the multiplications. So now we've got 0 plus 7m. Okay, so now simplify this up. Five zeros are zero, one on its own, so it's one plus 35m. This is the bit we're interested in. So that is our four solutions to this equation here. So we've got x equals one, eight, three, and 31. And all of these will be plus 35m. So we can do that and plus 35m, any one of those. Okay, now if you plug those back in to here, we can check the answers. So let's plug 1 in. 1 squared is 1, minus 4 is minus 3, plus 3 is 0. That's the 1 checked. Okay, 8. 8, 8 is 64, minus 4, 8 is 32, so that's 32 left, plus 3 is 35. 35 congruent with 0 mod 35 certainly is now we try 3 3 squared is 9 minus 4 times 3 is 12 so 9 minus 12 is minus 3 minus 3 plus 3 is 0 congruent with 0 mod 35 okay 31 let's see if we can do this one 31 squared 961 4 times 31 is 124, 961 minus 124 is 837, plus 3 is 840. Now 840, let's, work, let's just check that. So 840, well 700 we know is 35 times 20. That leaves 140, which is 4 times 35, and thankfully, that then ticks the box for 31. Okay, thank you very much.